Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about being brilliant. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what screams you are a brilliant software engineer? Well, I would say that you have the ability to increase productivity. That is probably, I would say that that is probably the thing, that, that's what the rock star developer seeking uh, companies of the world, uh, that's what they want from a rock star. So they don't really know what a rock star is, they sort of think that they know. It's usually a hipster with a MacBook with a lot of post uh, stickers on the back with a lot of fancy sounding tools. That's usually the the rockstar developer and they're also honestly I think that the perfect image of the rockstar developer is probably the hips the hipster front-end developer they are you I whenever I watch tech talks the people I really go yep that is what my boss is looking for that's my what all my bosses have been looking for it's the hipster guy or girl uh, who is in front of I don't know why but they always they really nail it they really nail the look and for me, the thing that I've always found to be true is that the engineers, the actual people who do the work, they're usually not so keen on saying that someone's a genius or someone's a brilliant software engineer unless you can do this one specific thing. And that is to create solutions that improves the work process of other people. In other words, if you are extremely good at finding pain points for your co-workers or for your development process and just figure out that well if I don't know if I create this shell script I'm actually going to remove all of this manual work that a lot of my co-workers are doing so they just run that and now instead of an hour this uh, of manual work it's gonna take two minutes to do this thing that is something that stands out to all engineers it's the universal language of our people if you can produce results and you can make my life easier, I will love you for it and I will follow you. Well, I will follow you if you can do that and you have seniority and you seem to have good ideas. But honestly, that's the thing that I always see. It's, it's, it, never, it never fails. I have seen so many, on average, I would say that there is, I have to this day never met a manager who really could do this. I see a lot of managers uh, in IT and tech leads and so forth, they're really good at talking. They're extremely good. And the thing is, when you have a little bit of experience, you start hearing the bullshit, or you, st you start to really quickly hear if this person is actually talking uh, as an intelligent, productive software developer who has some really strong, good ideas, or if they're just repeating things that are popular opinions. And this is the average, I would say. This is why and it's actually funny, because I, I this is my suspicion I suspect that because they're very good at talking about what is t trendy and like what opinion because there are popular opinions and if you have the right popular opinions and you have a little bit of seniority it's very easy for you to convince people who are not actually the people who are gonna do the work and can't spot this that you're really really good and so they put you in a management position and all of a sudden you go and twice a week or once a week or whatever you have these learning lunches or you have something where you basically just present a slideshow where you explain all the all the benefits of I don't know service meshes and you're basically just walking through the same damn content that anybody worth their salt in terms of seniority in the engineering department will have read a hundred times on many 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 newsletters you're like you're not adding value you're just repeating what somebody else is already saying and then of course since your primary focus is to show off towards people who are in a decision making process well they're going to be impressed because they don't read the same newsletters as the senior engineers and even the mid levels i mean most of what we do is that we sit there and we just kind of nod and go well yeah that sounds really cool and then we get ex like you some people who just they I mean you get excited about the thing but you're not actually changing anything you're just as i said you're just repeating things that people want to hear but the people who really get this praise the people who really really stand out they're not the p necessarily the people who go and do the tech talk. They are the people who can produce a solution that makes the difference. These are the real brilliant software engineers. These are the people that usually get a lot of praise. And what I f find interesting about that is that 
you can find these people at practically every company there's a, there's usually one or two of them like they're they're rare like they're not that common and then, I mean there's a lot of philosopher type of programmers who are trying to be these people they're trying to invent solutions and like in many cases they call overcomplicate features and we have a bigger issue than we originally had because of what they're doing but the people who really get this who really are good at this thing they're not the people who are trying to I don't know convert the whole code base to using functional programming with monads just because it's a good idea they are the people who just realize that you know what if I just write this shell script here it's probably going to help me set up my uh, like you spin up my environment really really quickly and then they literally just all they do is like yeah, guys I did this really weird little thing that just helps me uh, and post that to to the community and say yeah you can try it out it's gonna save you some time those are the people that usually get a lot of like cr street cred from the other developers those are the ones that you really want those are the developers that are the true rockstar programmers because they are not just saying the right things or n they don't just know the right tools uh, and uh, they are the people who make the difference so what I want you to take away from this is that my people the software engineers we are a very very result oriented tribe our clan cares primarily about what you can do for us a uh, fancy words are great everybody likes hearing fancy words but then at the end of the day the thing that will make people feel that you are a really high quality software engineer at least in the engineering department is if you can do the work can you produce good results can you create solutions that actually makes my job and everybody else's job easier if you are that sort of person we will love you for it the people who usually get a lot of praise from management and a lot of attention are the people who are better at talking and presenting and making it seem as if they are this sort of person but in reality most of them are actually just repeating as I've said before they're simply repeating popular opinions and to this day I've never met the manager like a full-time manager was hired to like who were hired to to actually make a difference for the engineering department who did anything literally anything except for spreading quote-unquote awareness or saying things like that really at the end of the day it doesn't really make much of a difference uh, they have to do that sort of thing but I just wish I suppose that we could praise the people who really do the thing do the make the difference more than we praise the people who who are on the stage because that's very rare at least what I find that you find the people who really make the difference on stage sometimes they're there and when you hear such a person speak they're usually saying things that are not the most popular opinion they're pragmatic and pragmatic and humble and they ha they're not just saying the popular thing that it can be said for the moment they're actually giving you concrete advice on how can we do this better they're not talking high level they're actually in the specifics of how they g went about of solving this complicated problem for their company those are the real super brilliant software engineers those are the people that you want to work with have a great day